Hello and welcome to the very first episode of the Splash Down Under podcast for 2019. Man, it's been a while. Um, now, we're starting off this year with a episode with the crew from Lime Soda. How are you guys going? Hey. Excellent. Good. Good. Doing all right. Pretty good, dude. Now, Shock, you've been on here before, so you know what's going to happen, I think. So, uh, yep. But for the rest of the LS crew, um, we're just going to basically sit down and talk to you guys a bit about your Splatoon experiences. And, of course, how can we not forget about Supernova for the grand final of the Splash Cup Australia and New Zealand. Yes. So. Um, let's start with that actually because generally I start with the other boring questions like when did you first hear about Splatoon and all that stuff but let's just get off the top um, Supernova now uh, reaching Supernova is no easy task for no doubt at all um, for teams that have been around for a while you know, formidable teams uh, there's obviously you guys and Morning Sun but for you guys it took for the second qualifier to reach that one of those that last final spot now how has reaching the grand finals mean for you guys as a team? Who wants to go? I mean, uh, I'll say something. I'll say. I mean, Will, uh, Will, 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 you're the captain, but you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, I mean, it's pretty cool for us because most of us haven't met, or well, some of us haven't met in real life, so it's kind of like a free, free meeting. <laughs> free meeting. <laughs> You know, That's fair. Free flights, free hotels oh, to yeah. meet each other. But yeah, it's pretty cool. I mean, like, don't you have like two or three hard. of you that live in Victoria already, though? Yeah, I mean, yeah, <laughs> yeah they've all met. But, you like, need that free accommodation. Josh, you know. Yeah, that's yeah, fair. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but me and Josh, you know, we're in those fake. Yeah, fake. fake states. Excuse me, I live in the fake time zone. So, well, know. South Australia. South Australia is the best state. Don't don't be afraid of that, Josh. It's fine. <clears throat> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now individually, now starting off with you, Will, what does it mean for you guys to reach Supernova? Oh, I mean, we're basically professional gamers now. Oh, <laughs> esports, <laughs> esports. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, no, it's cool. Like free flights, free free accommodation. It actually feels like we're professionals. <laughs> if that makes sense. <laughs> It makes plenty of sense. Feels like feels like I made something like oh feels God. like I've completed what I've been trying to do. You know I mean, I'm you're saying? the captain, so I mean, you you're probably the one that has the most sort of greatness feeling out of it all. But um, I mean, yeah, it's sure. not it's a fair it's effort a, though to carry it like to bring a team with you and to like uh, play together <laughs> and fight together to get through the um, the very questionable uh, tos of the qualifiers. Um, <laughs> Now, as a whole, <laughs> um, we know the scheduling and everything the organization was a bit average, but as a whole, how did you guys find the qualifiers as a as like a experience? Well, the first one, I don't know about that one, Chief. Um, <laughs> That's right. Yeah, it was pretty interesting. I mean, like, I get what they were going for, but it was kind of obvious that some of them didn't really know how to run, like, Splatoon-specifically tournaments. Yeah. Because, like, some of the factors they didn't really include or think of or even didn't know about yep single <laughs> elimination yeah we love single elimination <laughs> who doesn't so. honestly <laughs> it's like, when it's not seated. especially since it was turf war so literally you forgetting to ink like a gap could cost you the whole tournament it was yeah I, it is i don't know no you know you're right it it's pretty, very savage but the second one was definitely not a lot better in my opinion mm -hmm. it was a lot more well organized it actually started at the right time as well, which was nice. I know. How about that? Compared to like, <laughs> that, that the, was it was like an hour for the first one, and then the second one was like not even ten, five minutes after. Yeah, definitely. Is... And it was a lot more like comfortable to go into instead of like you know having to wait like I don't know ten years. So <laughs> yeah, and we actually played well compared to the first one. Mm. Exactly. Yeah. Because you guys <laughs> didn't last long in the first round, am I correct? <laughs> Mm. Nah, we got yeah. out second yeah. round. Yeah. yeah, I mean, because the fact that they the didn't you... yeah Sturgeon I mean, that, that that's essentially MLG. Am I not correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. Yeah. So, like, um, yeah. I mean, the fact that they it's a turf war to start off. It's very crucial that you have to know what you're doing. I mean, competitive turf war, uh, it can work, it's but like, it's very questionable. It's yeah. Interesting. Yeah. It, mm. it definitely opens your eyes and just makes you think a little differently compared to like the rank modes. But um, as for qualified two, you're able to turn that around and obviously reach the finals. Now, now I think from memory, you faced it. Was it Fresh Fish? He faced off in the final. Yeah, yeah both yes. of them. 
Oh, the winners final and grand final. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. So you guys, that because that was a pretty good team because they had Toadzilli, Lardius, and a few others. I can't remember off the top of my head, but um. Yeah, so it wasn't definitely an easy task. You had players that had represented uh, Australia and yeah, nah, at the previous E3 World Championship. So for you guys now, they have the opportunity to take that place to represent Australia. I'm sure that is an unreal feeling for you guys, having that uh, awareness that that could possibly be the reality. I'm sure that would be very sitting sitting in with you guys and I guess making you nervous a little bit, maybe? Or are you up for it? Yeah, no, not at all, dude. No, no nerves whatsoever. Like, what? I'm going to be scared. Uh, nervous. I mean, it's only morning sun. Mm. Only. only. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, we're one game away, basically. Yeah. That's, no, mean, that's true. That's a good way to it, too. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Um, now, all right. Now, let's get to know you a little bit more. Now, Shock, we know you and what all about you already. But yeah. for the others now, um, let's start with you, Will. Um, now, when you first started playing Splatoon, when did you first hear about it? Uh, for me, I mean, I heard about Splatoon 1 just from people, ads, whatever, but I never really cared about it much. Oh, okay. So I won't count that. But Splatoon 2, I remember watching it in... Uh, what was it the the Switch presentation, like the January one? Yeah, I believe before so. the Switch came out, yep. and they announced it. I was like, "Oh my god, I need that! Mm-hmm. Give it to me." <laughs> um, so yeah, went from there. Yep. And Josh, for you, um, for like just Splatoon in general. Yeah, just yeah, yeah. both games. Um, so I played Splatoon one uh, quite quite a bit, probably like a thousand hours, maybe more. Yeah, damn. Uh, which is actually kind of interesting because I didn't really have anybody to play with back then because I was I didn't know anyone. Yeah. But I found about Splatoon. I was literally probably my first proper Nintendo console apart from like the 3DS and stuff. Yeah. I mean, like I had a Wii, but I didn't play it like properly, properly. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I was just kind of like sitting on the couch and I saw this ad, and I'm like, dude. That looks cool. They're flinging paint. <laughs> and then at the time, I was like learning to draw, and I was just like, "This is cool. I use paint. This is paint. I'm gonna just buy a whole console cool. with a game, yep. which is literally what I did." So. Cool. And, and Geo, then... if you're still there. All right. Well, <clears throat> one time, ten-year-old me, you know, ten-year-old me. Yeah. Yep. Little boy. <laughs> Play in Luigi's Mansion, gets stuck on a level, decides to go to professional gamer Zach Scott's channel. Oh, hello. Accidentally clicks on a Splatoon video. <laughs> His 106th one, if I remember correctly. Yeah. And uh, I saw the game and was like, I need this. Uh, I need this. This is I'm playing this competitively. <laughs> I need this game. Yeah. And I went out. After one week of begging, my dad finally got it for me, and I've just loved it ever since. Good job, Dad. Good dad. Yeah, um, so yes. another person who's gone through Zach Scott games, because there's been a few other people that I've uh, chatted with, and yeah, Zach Scott was their avenue of being introduced to the game, so that's, yeah, kind of cool. Now, um, staying with EGO, what were some early memories of playing Splatoon? Earliest memories, probably playing with a friend from school who I forced to get the game. <laughs> Good job. Um, he ended up becoming better than me, which made me really upset because oh. I wanted to be better than him. Oh. And every time he killed me, it was just squid bagging and all this. <laughs> but uh, it was a lot of fun. And I'll never forget the day my brother deranked me from S all the way down to A-. minus. Oh, oof, oof. Wow, savage. Gee, that's, that's yeah, bad brother. Don't ever let him play the game yeah. again. <laughs> Don't worry, I haven't. <laughs> Good. Yosh, for you, what were some of your early memories? Um, I remember my first game, which was on Salt Spray Rig, um, oh, and how Salt's painful Prey. it was, yeah. because I that that was when I first found out how much I hated that map. Yep. Um, and I was using Roller, and I got, like, a lot of splats, and I was, like, so proud of myself. I'm like, dude, I'm already a god at this game. I've had it for, like, <laughs> five minutes. <laughs> and then I was like, you know, I'm just going to keep playing it. And I will definitely never forget when I first got S+. Plus and I cried because it took me so long to get there. Yeah. And then I got there and I just kind of still played and lost it like once or twice, but got it back. So <laughs> Nice. Cool. And for you, Will, what were some early memories? Uh, well, I'll skip Splatoon 1 again because I literally remember nothing of that game pretty <laughs> yeah, much. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah. uh, Splatoon 2. I mean, the first week I actually had it, I was actually in hospital. So oh. I just spent a week, like, in bed, just rack- racked up, like, 100 hours. Uh, so that was pretty fun. I guess you can say that. <laughs> I remember thinking I was really good, but uh, I reckon if you went back, I was probably really trash. Like, yeah. I was using stick 
Oh, stick user! <laughs> Damn! I didn't swap for a while. I played sticks for like the first 500 hours or something. Jeez. Interesting. So, yeah. Fair enough. All right. Okay, moving on now to the next few questions. Now, I'm going to put this in a part. Like, I'm going to combine these two questions to one. Now, um, we'll start with you, Yosh. How did you become to know the Ocean community? And with part of that question as well is, how did you end up joining your teams that you've been a part of, and what is your role? Oh, okay. So, um, back, I have this, I have, like, my first, first ever team I found on Splatoon Amino. Uh which has the best name ever, Wimmy Warriors. We gotta love that. Wimmy Warriors. Them. <laughs> I'm still friends with them now, actually. They're really nice people. And I was I remember I was in voice chat with one of them and I was saying how I was really sad because when everyone like was asleep, I was still awake and I oh, didn't yes. play Splatoon with. Yeah. So then he's like, Have you actually ever looked for an Australian community? So through like a few hours of researching, I stumbled upon Ocean Inc. and I actually joined it from there. Nice. And, you know, got to know some of the people. The first proper team I joined was Squiddling Armada. Which Squiddling pretty, Armada. Pretty cool. <laughs> Rest in um, peace. Yeah, it's so sad. <laughs> I got to know some of them pretty well. Yeah. And uh, they were really nice to me. So I stayed with them and then I kind of floated around a bit, went to Squid Armada, which is exactly the same, but, yeah. you know, a bit evolved. Then uh, I can't remember if there's anyone between them. Eureka, and then I'm here now. So nice, nice, cool, nice journey. Um, for you, Geo, what? How do you know the Oceanic community and the teams you end up joining and role? Uh, so I spent five months in 2017 just looking for an AUNZ community, and I couldn't wow, find one. Wow, five months. Yeah, one day in that SRV2 dudes Discord server, you all know him. Uh, yes. I found a team <laughs> called Prisma Tink. Prisma Tink. <laughs> yep. <laughs> wow. One of the members happened to be Australian. I asked them if they knew any servers, and they gave me a link to this server. Who was that member? Glitchy. Oh, Glitchy. Oh, Glitchy's been around for a while. Damn. Mm-hmm. Cool. Uh, that was my first team. I remember joining AA a couple of months later. Yes. And then Lime Soda in August. So. Yeah. Cool. And I play Frontline. Oh, Slayer. and yeah, cool. And uh, Josh, I've got to ask you about your role. Oh, I am Backline, but I haven't played Backline for like the whole time I had Splatoon. <laughs> Fair enough. So, literally, I got Splatoon 2 and I played Charger. I'm like, I'm maining this thing. So, yeah. yeah. Did you ever use Charger in Splatoon 1 or what were you then? I was a filthy damage up E-leader main, so yes, um, <laughs> I did definitely use Charger in Spot 1. Okay, cool, nice. And lastly, Will, how did you end up knowing of the Oceanic community and the teams you were involved? Uh, I found out through an in real life friend. Oh, cool. He made me join, basically. Yep. Um, but I, like, I didn't use online for anything at that time. Yep. Like, I actually went out with people and stuff. I didn't play online and all that. <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, look at me now. Yeah, look um, at you now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, yeah, but after a couple of months, I think I probably thought I was getting okay at the game. So I tried looking through the server again, kind of looking for team, um, and eventually found Link and AA. Yep. Um, and that was yeah, that was pretty fun. Oh, we got Geo in there. Wendell and some other people. Mm -hmm. That was pretty cool. Yeah, because you were pretty close with uh, most of them guys, weren't you? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Uh, and then after a while, me and Geo left, and I managed to convince him to make a team with me. <laughs> nice. And we got Yosh, we got Jack. Uh, got Shock and yeah. as well. Kate. Eventually. Is yeah. Kate a sub, or is he, a, or is he... What is he? Oh, he's nothing now. Oh, 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 wow. Okay. <laughs> no, <it's... laughs> he's a sub for Emperor. Oh, he's a sub for Emperor. Okay. Fair enough. Because he does get around a few teams, but we know I've noticed. Yeah, but, yeah. he does. Yeah. He was with us for the start, but I left pretty early on. Yeah. And ha have you always been a captain sort of player, or what do you... Do you see yourself as a captain, or what do you... Yeah, yeah, I, I do. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I just can't... It annoys me to have to let someone else organize something. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> I just feel like, I want to do this. Just let me figure it out. I'll organize. And I just love, like, pinging people. I love pinging <laughs> everyone. At yeah. everyone. At here. <laughs> <laughs> he really does. Yeah. No, but I do. I like to I like to be the captain. I like to tell people what to do. I mean, like, you have that power. Way. 
Yeah. You have the power, so why yeah, not yeah. abuse it? No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Now, um, favorite weapons and why, sticking with you, Will, what is your favorite weapon and why on earth? Oof. That's that's a question. Favorite yeah. <laughs> weapon. Um, well, I kind of consider myself at the moment basically like a midline flex. Okay. Give me like any midline weapon I'll play it. But if I had to pick one, ooh, it's probably it's probably got to be mini at the moment. Mi- mini. Do. Oh yeah, don't mention that. I've been enjoying it. After the cup, I played it a couple couple games in the cup. Yeah. Just been grinding it since then. Fair enough. Okay. Um, pretty fun. It's pretty yeah, fun. Yeah, that's true. Shock, since you're here, is it still your beloved Dooley's or which one is it? Um, It's turned into Kenta Spider Shop Pro until that gets nerfed. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Don't Just say the N word. Don't say the N word. <laughs> just because of like its two shot potential oh, it's and its range and fire rate is just like crazy. And the kit as well is yeah. good. Good, like midline slash like Slayer, you could kind of say like backup Slayer to Geo. Yeah, yeah. I suppose that can work in quite well with your team comps as well because Booyah Bomb is kind of like a distant splashdown sort of thing, and yeah. Splat Bombs are pretty aggressive. So and kind of like with the meta at the moment, it's kind of shifting to like longer range weapons now. So yeah, it kind of right. just helps out. Yeah, yeah, true. Um, Yosh, favorite weapon. Uh, I mean, I like any backline, but I have to go with Charger because yeah. I just like the the fact that it can almost work with any team comp. Mm-hmm. And like when you get that shot, you, that feeling you get. Oh that. yeah, the satisfaction. Dude, I just hit that shot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. You get that little pop off sort of hype thing going. Yes. Yeah. I and then when you get like a whole clip, you're like, dude, I'm insane. <laughs> <laughs> and then you get that quad, but then you realize you clipped too early, and it's like, no. Yes. <laughs> well, you get like more off of the quad. You're like, dude, I could have had like a whole video going on. Uh, and Geo, lastly, favorite weapon. All right, well, I'm gonna be that guy. Oh, come on, be that two guy. Two favorite weapons because, uh, <laughs> you know, because you can. One for competitive, and that's gonna be like the Perry's. Yep. It kind of annoys me that the K Dooleys are better because I really love the Perry's and he's just really fun. Yes. But like, as a general, like favorite weapon, range blaster. Like, come on. A range blaster. Yeah, you just what? jump around and you hit shots. Jump around. And it's funny because people are like, oh, you're so lucky. And I just laugh. It's great. <laughs> are you just saying that because you can't aim? Yes. Okay. Okay. I, I just, just thought I'd call you out there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it's okay. Because like, I've seen it a lot too in Rainmaker. And yeah, it's kind of infuriating because like, if you are using an inkjet and you have one against you, it's like, good luck surviving against that because. They always sh- yeah. manage to shoot me down every time I use goo, uh, the custom goo with inkjet. So, yeah, not fair enough. Now, um, last but not least, well, actually, second last but not least, um, weapon talk. Now, we've got 4.6. It's either fallen upon us or is about to fall upon us. I think it's tomorrow. But what are some of the things you like to see change starting with... Uh, well, as a collective to you guys, I just want you guys to chip in here for some opinions about what you think sh- certain weapons should be fixed but, um, or nerfed or something special uh, sort of might boosted or anything. What do you guys think about weapons at the moment? All right, well, sorry, Shock, but we got to nerf the Kenster. No! Uh, <laughs> after Supernova, then we do. <laughs> you no, know, but we get to... Okay, sure. Fine. He has a point. <laughs> I mean, I have we... to agree with the whole Kenster Pro thing. The amount of time we, we just need to be able... for a... What we happened? need to be able to play dualies again. Like, come on. It just <laughs> destroys the dualies. I want to roll around. Come on. Oh. Please. I mean, people forget that you can use the vanilla Spluttershot Pro and that works just as well. Yeah, it does. It's pretty good as well. I like it. But, so is, has anyone oh. else got any issues? Like, other uh, weapons should be fixed? I, I feel or? like um, not necessarily, like, just a special weapon. Stingray still needs to be nerfed a bit. Sorry, Josh. Really? A what little bit. Do? I reckon. What does Tingo ever do to you? Okay. <laughs> killed me. That's what it did. <laughs> killed him from five miles away. Over and over and over again, it killed you. I think yep. the thing with this thing is that you just got to learn to move around quicker and not get caught out because. Usually, a good stinger can easily catch you out and kill you in no time. And like, I think is it like two or three subs of main pa- of um, special power up, and you, it doesn't take much to kill. I think uh, mm. it just increases the duration. I think. Ah, really? Yeah, which is annoying as 
Yeah. yeah. I'm pretty sure running object shredder just one shots the armor as well, so the armor buff yeah. is kind of useless. Oh, okay. Good point, actually, too. Yeah, because we're getting a lot of armor weapons coming out too. Uh, mm. And another thing too, I like. I mean, I haven't really noticed, but the booyah bomb. Um, the armor that it has, 500, 500 HP. I, to a degree, I think it's fine. I think that needs to be changed because I've been able to shoot down a few booyah bombs. Um, mm. Now, as a booyah bomber user yourself, I think shock. You think you said you use it a little bit. Um, is there anything you think that could be fixed with, or is it just you think that having a, a special nerf, like a special point nerf to use it? Because I think that was one of the first nerfs it received, wasn't it? Like it went from one eighty to one ninety or something, wasn't it? Uh, one eight for the Kenta Pro yes. alone, the one eighty to two hundred. Ah, oh, two hundred it was. It okay. went, but like just the special itself, I think like if you're not using it as a panic button mm -hmm. it'll be fine yeah like if you're getting double or triple team and you use it you obviously get a pretty much die instantly yeah so they kind of eliminated that fact of like a uh panic button kind mm -hmm. of like in splatoon one with some of those specials so i think 500 health is still fine yep yeah no, that sounds mm -hmm. good anything else to add guys anyone else want to shout in something before i shoot move on booyah bomb it's i think one thing that annoys me about just it just get rid is... of it <laughs> no, 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 I like it. I think it's a unique weapon and it's, I think the whole concept behind it's cool, but like, for example, one thing I want to like mention and I really think they should fix is after the Booyah Bomb, when they drop, the amount of times like you shoot them at like kind of the same time where you think, hey, I think their armor's gone or it's a bit low now so I can kill oh, them. Oh, and the armor and still is on. Yeah, and, yeah, and sometimes yeah, the armor's there yeah, and sometimes yeah. it's not. And sometimes you're like, dude, I got him. And you're like, wait, what? And then other <laughs> times it makes the noise of not getting him and you get him and you're like, hold on, what? What? I'm confused now. I learned it's something today yeah. about Booyah Bomb. You can safely splash. So as soon as the Booyah Bomb gets thrown, as soon as it hits the ground, you can safely splash down and survive. Oh. That happened oh. to me today in stream. It was weird because I thought I was dead, but I timed myself down to perfection and I survived it. And mm. yeah, I didn't know that could be a thing. So mm. you can there try you that. Go. You can try that tactic, but um, yeah, ultra stamp. Anyone a fan of the ultra stamp? I it's oh fun. yeah, it's fun as yeah. Oh, so I mean, we're all Random about those yeets, aren't we? That's all we're yes. there for. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Kill uh, someone from across the map with a hammer throw. Yeah, yeah I just want to add something. Like everyone says, it's like a really good special, but like you can kind of if they're just like running around with it, they can you can kind of just get behind and like everyone complains you can't shoot it from the front, but like you shouldn't be able to. Yeah, you should be dodging and weaving around to try and get a good angle to shoot it down. Yeah, no, that's fine. This is why the camo the camo tentabrella will help oh you. Oh no. <laughs> the camo tentabrella. Launch, launch the brella. <laughs> launch, launch the shield. Just yeah, you're free. That's free gonna be a good, that's gonna be a sick that's combo you. to see. I reckon it's gonna, it's essentially like the curling bomb rush tentabrella, except more stronger. Mm. Will, do I have permission to call you the happy camper? Oh uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> yes, <laughs> <laughs> happy camper. Oh goodness me. Um, the only thing I was gonna say about ultra stamp is that the only thing I find it useful is mainly rainmaker when making a path, but also to a degree it can work for clan blitz in the ways of, um, also painting paths and clearing out enemies. So, uh, mm, yeah. And and the other thing I guess for tower control you can good for yeeting at the ha at the towers, but that's all I can think of really for it. Otherwise, yeah. some maps aren't that friendly for it, but. Uh, I mean, people have learned, picked it up already and know how to use it perfect, perfectionally, so. Um, all right, moving on to the last question. Uh, we'll start with you, Will. Best experience that you've had so far with Splatoon? Oh, I think it's I think it's a pretty obvious one. I mean, we just won the cup. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. What, a week and a half ago? I yeah. mean, it has to be. Like, if I wish Shock recorded when we won. You should hear yeah. us. Popping off. You should have heard us I, just I was yelling. kind of in a rush because I um, kind of got back from my tennis final that I was meant to play, and lucky it got washed out. Otherwise, Ew, I would have been tennis. a bit late. Who plays tennis? No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I play tennis. <laughs> yeah, um, because I'll say when you have those clinching wins of the major major events, it, it your team does mm -hmm. like get hype. So yeah, yeah. it's one yeah. of the best things. Oh I yeah, can... we were hyped. Yeah, we'll run down the street when we won the. Yeah. <laughs> so can yeah. I just safely say that everyone else's answer is going to be saying winning that grand final yeah and yeah. for like future things like just playing at supernova on a, on that big stage will then yeah. kind of take over that'll be the next yeah, yeah. and if, 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 and then if, if we if win things that happen, yeah things go your way playing it going to America that would be and like 
just in general, playing with a team and playing with other people is yeah. really nice. Mm. Yeah, that's that's well beautifully said too. Um, yeah, because like such a community as the Oceanic community brings all the people together, different people from different backgrounds with different mm. um, things and whatever, and it just everyone is so nice to each other and giving help and advice and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And no of, other like yeah. region kind of has like the community we have. Like the only community that they kind of have is like what's it called ink academy yeah, that ink kind academy. of thing yeah. but then again they don't have like mm, yeah, just true, a true. region specific community where they like set up lands and stuff yeah for that area yeah, yeah so they're kind of lucky true, true. it's all in, uh, not not privatized but individualized if that's a thing to say yeah. but i don't know like like region individualized yeah 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 yep. Yeah, no, I, I think uh, for the game, for the Splatoon community in general, it's definitely one of the gra- greatest things going on in our country. Um, the fact that we all have to share the same passion and love for this Squid game um, and that we're all uh, open to each other and helping each other out and just enjoying playing Squid Game with each other is just the best thing ever. So, um, now, may as well say this now. Good luck to you guys at Supernova. I will see you guys there, actually, so... Um, don't be afraid to say hi to me, and I'll try to man up and remember to say hello to you guys as well. Because um, <laughs> there's going to be a few people coming from Venomous, so I'm going to be hanging with them most of the time. But the opportunity that it is at Supernova for everyone to come from all sorts of places of Australia to come and meet each other to, at Supernova yeah. in Melbourne is like one of the best things as well of uh, the gaming community. So I look forward to seeing you guys there, and I wish you guys all the best of luck. <coughs> yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No worries, guys. And that's it for this episode of the Splashdown Under Podcast. Thank you guys for listening. Check out Lime Soda and all the members individual. I'll link all their Twitters and bios and stuff there. So be sure to check them out. And I'll see you guys next time. 